One of the big complaints that we get all the time at Tree Hugger is that uh, prefabs are all sitting there on big lots in the country, big houses for the very wealthy, and that we never show anything in a sort of urban milieu. I'm with Joe Tanney of Resolution 4 Architects looking at a new prefab design that's going to be built on a 20-foot wide lot between two new, I guess you'd call them monster houses now, wouldn't you, on double lots, Joe? Yeah, McMansions. Yeah, McMansions on the beach. So anyhow, I'm with Joe and his office is in New York City. So tell me about the house, Joe. Um, it's a 1,750 square foot house. It sits on a lot that's 20 feet by 90 feet. We have one foot setbacks. And what's also interesting about the lot is that we have an easement or a boardwalk that cuts right through the middle of the, the, middle of the site. So our house actually has to go up and over the easement. So the communal space, the footprint's about 16 by 37. And upstairs, we have a long bar that's about 64 feet long, I believe, and about 16 feet wide. Let me go back and get a shot of that just to see how that looks. So that you, can you zoom in just a bit? So the public walkway is actually underneath that, uh, the house there. Right, that connects the, the boardwalk up and down the beach. That's incredible. And that's how they actually get to the house. The house actually doesn't sit on a street. It sits on the beach. And so upstairs we get uh, two bedrooms, two baths, and a, and a media room. And, um, and uh, we get a roof deck with, uh, with a solar shade on top where we can put uh, solar panels. Yeah, you were saying earlier that a lot more of your work is uh, getting involved with sort of more green technologies, ground source heat pumps and solar. Um, yeah, many of the houses that we're doing right now have geothermal and solar. Um, all of our houses are designed to lead standards in our first, um, is that our NHAB, NHBA? NHBA. NHB. Gold standard, uh, gold, what, how many points do we get, Amir? Now this uh, is online right now. We just were at the factory yesterday. This is on a 20-foot lot, but it is still sort of a beach community. Are you doing any urban stuff, any sort of edgier urban stuff that we'll be able to look at soon? Uh, we're just finishing a house in the Bronx right now. It's about 1,800 square feet, two bedrooms and two baths. It's just wrapping up. It, too, sits on a very small lot and also has a very large roof deck. Um, our client just returned from Iraq, so we're pretty excited about that one. Now, one question about this is just about installation, because if your setbacks are one foot, usually your neighbor's houses are going to have roof overhangs and eaves troughs, and those aren't usually where I live, subject to the setbacks. So how much room do you have to actually drop the box in? Well, the, the lots next to us have one foot setbacks as well, so we'll have two feet on each side. Oh, so the, the roof overhangs are subject to the setback? Uh, and in addition, we, we gave ourselves an extra three feet for, uh, for entry, for access on one side. So it'll be uh, tight. That'll give you a room. We'll get it. Won't have to grease it. Okay, thank you very much, Jeff.